Jesus who wasn't yet familiar with, but he had an understanding of where God wants to take him. The reason you should never miss church on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, is because you don't know if that's the night that God is going to give you the oversight of where you need to be. Because every time the word is open, and it might be the moment God releases your miracle. Sometimes you cannot dance your way out of it. Sometimes you just got to be faithful in the house where you've been planted. And David, he builds, uh, he builds a tabernacle of David. He sets up there in the tabernacle of David a 24-hour prophetic worship. The priest and the Levite would come in, minister in the temple by course. Uh, now I'm getting ready to excite somebody right through here. Mm. Because that's exciting to me because the Bible declares that you and I of a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Y'all missed all of that because the reason y'all young folks should have shouted is because you are a united nation in here tonight. And so understand if the priests and the Levites would come into the courts of our court and worship by course. And the Bible declares that we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. How God will catch this. Then, then, then every time I come into the temple, it's my turn to worship now. Every time I come into the temple, it's your turn to worship. Every time I come into the temple, it's my turn to bring him glory. And it's my turn to give him honor. You have to understand that every time you go to the job, it's your skill. It's your your turn to give him worship. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. In other words, when I leave the four walls of the church, I'm still in the temple. When I go to work, I'm still in the temple. When I'm at home washing dishes, I'm still in the temple. Oh God, when I'm riding in the car, I'm still in the temple. And it's my turn to worship. I worship God, not when I just lift my hands in church, but it is when I, a lifestyle that I do it. Everything I do becomes my spiritual act of worship. In the NIV, Romans chapter 12 and 1 says, I present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is my spiritual act of worship. In other words, everything I do in my life becomes an extension of my act of worship. So David sets up in the tabernacle a 24-hour prophetic flow. How is it that David sets up in the tabernacle a 24-hour prophetic flow when Israel did not even understand the system of worship? In other words, David had such an encounter with God. The only way David could have set up a 24-hour prophetic worship is because David understood, uh, he understood he had an encounter with God. He prayed, uh, the Bible says, shall I go up? And will you go with me? Two things I will teach you tonight uh, is that you have to ask God, shall I go up? And if I do, will you go with me? God answers David back and says, you shall have victory. And I will go with you. David says, how will I know when it's time to move? In other words, God, how will I know when it's time to do what you've told me to do? God said to David, there's a sow that goes up in the top of the mulberry bushes. When you hear that sound, that means I have prepared you for battle. How oh God, you need a signal from God when it's time to move. In other words, God says, when I move, you move just like that. God said, well, y'all ain't feeling that. All right, I'll keep going. In other words, you need a sound. You need to hear a sound. In biblical days, we call folks prophet now. But in other words, really, a prophet is what he heard because in biblical days, they called him a seer. And a seer would see a fall. And that's why the prophet said, I see how God, I see something by the signs of a man's child. He saw it. 